goodness, a pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song and Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon and finally happens to I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expression, it's so stoic. Do you know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he steps inside the octagon? His list of opponents, the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. in the business, Herb fight. Dean is our referee tonight. So here is Conor McGregor once again. Is there any atmosphere in MMA quite like Conor McGregor fighting in this octagon? The Irish fans are going bananas. We'll see if Conor McGregor can take advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach here tonight. DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Get the half guard. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, nice body kick. Oh, that 
That's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Wow, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yes. Oh! Strikes continue to pile up. Hard ground and pound. Some swelling now starting to appear. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's got to be careful here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Get ready to counter that. Oh, oh. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Opened it right up. Yep, got to be very careful there. Now trying to trap an arm. Arm is very tight. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. No way. He got it. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar. The fight looked done. But he loves to fight on. Oh, McGregor's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, Conor McGregor's boxing looks sharp here tonight. We talked about him as a master of distance management, but he also uses his long reach to great effect. It's one thing to have a long reach. It's another thing to use it and to use that jab, and McGregor has really mastered it when it comes to mixed martial arts. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the boxer. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound to beat it. McGregor's cheek is just leaking blood all over the octagon. That gash is absolutely terrible. I might have even caught his jawbone in there. I'm not so sure. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, McGregor's in half goal. Making all these shots count. Goes right back to the full mount. Right. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Oh, All right, well, that's the end of the oh. round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready? You ready? Round two is on the way. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. They laid it all on the line. They dropped the water in the middle of the octagon, and they said, let's go. What a round. Oh, what a kick. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas. 
this as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Inside the first guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, so a million and goes back in full mount. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner could stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. Watch armbar here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. And the oh! will do it! You win by submission! Oh, boy! Well, everybody in this arena is still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Hayes! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.